Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Watch Jenny Play. And I'm glad to announce that we are finally doing it. We are playing relevant games. In fact, this game is so relevant that it hasn't come out yet and it will come out in one hour. But it has a demo version, so I thought it would be fun to try out the demo before we buy it on Steam and I'll record my first episode then. But this will be like, not even episode zero, this will be like episode minus one. Uh, for some reason it allows me to turn up my resolution only to 1080, but whatever. So this is supposed to be like a roguelike game, I know, big surprise. I kind of like those games. And we have no idea what, how it's played. Uh, it's supposed to be... Let me... Let me read the description here. Tower Escape is a reverse tower defense game. Which, this, this first sentence is already has me already buying the game. Where instead of defending against incoming enemies, you play the baddies and guide your minions to the recruit a team of minions and collect powerful gems and relics to make each run unique. So let's do it! Um, we have three difficulties. It chose easy for me. Strongly recommended for first time players to a challenge but will give you freedom to learn the game. Then we got medium and hard. Blatantly unfair with no retries, let's say we didn't warn you. And then medium. A balanced and challenging move. Winning will not be easy, but the determined have a chance. You know what? Let's go for the medium. Fuck it. Uh, then we got show tips and classic snake. Control the snake in the real time with keyboard. Holy shit, this music is so loud though. Alright. I can fucking hear myself think. Uh, which is better. Uh, I'm not gonna check this, I don't know what it is. Oh, we have two starting clans to select from the damned or the undead. Uh, I'm gonna go with the damned, I guess, because this is the first one. The stupid elves have captured you, the most powerful necromancer in the kingdom, and locked you in a tower. Thankfully, you managed to smuggle in your necromnomiconomnom and have hatched a plan to escape by summoning your armies back from the dead. Wonderful. Left click location to move your snake and create a path that your minions will use to pick up keys and treasure. The next floor will be unlocked when all keys are collected. Minions may carry one item each. At least one minion must exit to reach the next wave. Holy shit, wait. Uh, Hover over guards to see their ranges, try to avoid their attacks while collecting all the treasure. Uh, so I guess we start from here, and I gotta select my path so that I avoid these guys. And they have... Uh, there's only one of them, it seems. And I got two minions, the Imp and the Tim. <laughs> Tim and the Imp. The Tim move fast but die easily. On that spawn speed vial. Interesting. So I vote this guy, which has a range of 7, and I'm guessing he can't move. So that's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, about here. So if I manage to do this, and then this, and we are in his range here. Hold on. We don't need to actually go all the way out. We can do this. So we're trying to get this coin. Can we make it a bit prettier? Oh my god, I love this game already. Uh, we can actually go down the same route, can we? So something like this. Let's see how it plays. Oh no, <laughs> he has no chance of killing us. Alright, so the first guy picked up the key and the second guy picked up the coin. And we got both treasures and we exited successfully. Perfect survival, wonderful. One key, one coin, one bonus coin, MVP, Tim. <laughs> Alright, let's descend to the next one. Line your path carefully through the tower and some levels have bonus treasure or a store. Focus if you're looking for certain cards. Right click on the room and its exit will be highlighted for you in the level above. Uh, what? 
I swear, I read this and I didn't see any of the text in my head. So focused for looking for a right click. All right, I'm not looking for certain cards because I have no idea how to play this game. So I guess. Wait, we are at 12 and we're going down. So on 11, it's got type level in store damped. Store spells. Uh, okay. What can we buy? Store. So we got five of these, which I'm guessing are coins. And two minions. Group your minions to summon into your armor or add pages to your book of spells. The store will refresh every time you enter a new floor or may be rewrote at any time for a cost. Right click a card to look or unlock it and it will stay between levels and rows. Alright, so we can buy the undead, are slow but tough. We can buy another imp. Uh, a goblin or a shroomy. Well, we are these guys, so I suppose we want another imp. But I kind of wish there was another guy to select from. Uh, all right, I guess we'll get another imp just so we can carry more stuff. Do I get a goblin or something? Have low delay and crowd together. Strong but have high delay. What does delay mean? I have no idea. One of your minions can be combined into an upgraded version. What? Wait. Set the other the order of your minions by clicking and dragging. Pay attention to your speed and delay to choose the best order. Combine or melt to reduce the size of your team. Uh, combine two of the same card into an upgraded version. Oh, we can combine two imps. That's wonderful. Or melt. Or remove a card and claim some resources. Or we don't want to melt anyone. Let this guy three and this guy's. Oh, he's the third guy. Yeah. Alright, let's combine these guys. Oh, we got a riff. Um, I don't know how better he's than an imp. We could also get like another guy. Uh, let's see what the shroomy guys are. Just because we don't want to, like, have extra goat. Uh, manage inventory. Gems can be used to upgrade minions. Relics provide passive global effects. Spells can be cast during play to help your minions survive. To suck at gems, go to manage minion screen. Uh, okay, we have flame charm. The dam combined with just two cards. Is this like my passive? I guess so. And we got rewards. No rewards. Can we shoot with this? Alright. We're on the 11th floor. Shields can block hits but will be damaged and eventually break. Minions are greedy and will drop for keys or treasure. Potions can heal or boost speed for a brief time but will be used up by the first minion who reaches them. Alright. Um, uh, so we got a lot more enemies this time. We got the wizard, the knight, and the archer. And these guys have a shorter range, so they're more easily to circumvent. But let's see, what do I want to do here? I want to pick up the shield and the key, and I could also get the healing vial, I suppose. Alright, let's just do this. Four, three. Um. Something like this, right? Oh, let's do it like this. It doesn't matter where we go, so we'll select this one. Holy shit, these guys deal a lot of damage. And now Tim is slow down because of the shield. <sighs> okay, oh no, Tim, don't die, Tim. All right, Tim made it. This guy has a shield, he should be okay as well. 
All right, so that was a little bit weird. We could have planned it out better, probably. Additional keys are required to advance. Oh, to start a new wave? What? Don't understand. All right, we got two more coins. We can get more minions, but... Wait! Go back! No, 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 no! I wanna get back another one. It's no but tough. Alright, let's get a zombie as well. Fuck. We got four now. And... Speed... Well, Alright, so I guess we want this guy in front. And the fast guys we want in the back. Right? Probably, maybe, I don't know. Let's see. Alright, so there are more minions this time. But we don't need to pass through all of them. We just do this. Alright, that kind of worked. Alrighty. Clean sweep. Perfect survival. I can send now. Uh, is this the MVP? <laughs> yeah, he is. Why is he the MVP? I have no idea. You may reroll the start with new minions to choose one, but the cost of future rerolls will increase. Uh, no, we're not gonna do that. We don't have enough coins to buy anything. So I think we're gonna stick with what we have. Maybe I should not spend all my gold on these random minions. And we could have bought through me and combined him, but too late now. Um, what does like our guy do? What's his special thing? He just moves fast. Okay. Good to know. Uh, I mean, there's not much we can do here. Suppose we can just start the team. God shields work like normal shield, but are worth two coins if they make it out, or will turn into a coin if destroyed. Treasure chests contain gems or coins, which will be rewarded after the wave is complete. When multiple exits are present, choose only one. View your map for details. Some levels have bonuses for specific items in the store. Um, okay. So there are two exits. One is type lava and the other is type maze. Uh, we want the lava one, probably. So we want to avoid this area altogether. And we want to visit this like tank, but we want to get the shield, which is where to go to intact. Kind of hard to figure out what I need to do here. I mean, I could leave it for the end and just do like this, get this, get this, get that. And then go get this and then get out but that'll be a lot of back and forth so i think we're just gonna do the most obvious thing here is this faster because i want to get out of the, the range of this guy as soon as possible this he deals a lot of damage. I suppose I want the health back after this. Something like this. Did we break the god shield? What happened? I think we did. 
because it turned into a coin. Not sure what happened. But we got a perfect throw again, which is good, I guess. Hey, we got a bunch of gems and stuff. Uh, we can upgrade a minion. To have six more health, two more speed, I guess. And one, I don't know what this is, delay, I guess. And we can just turn it into three coins. Um, what I would like more, probably, is... We we'll use this one on the Can I use it on someone? Okay. Hmm. Alright, I want to upgrade this guy. So we can suck him with this. And that makes him a lot tougher, which is good. And he is very fast as well. So he'll probably be in the back always, which he is. So that works. Uh, we could get another Shroomy and maybe combine them. But I think because the Shroomy isn't damned, we won't be able to combine them. Yeah, we need three of the same, not two. Um, I want this cut guy, but... Do I get rid of some of these guys? What happens if I melt them? Alright, let's melt Shroomy. Sorry, Shroomy. We got one coin for him. And we could get ourselves another 10. Or... I could also melt Zombaby. Sorry, Zombaby. Ooh, we got some gems. That's pretty nice. And we could get Scott. Now, Scott spawns a coin on that. Which is not very good, actually. Um, would I rather have a Tim instead? Now, let's get Scott. Fuck it. Maybe he'll turn into something cool. So he is quite slow, but he is tougher than Tim. I mean, why would I want them to die? Spawn speed vial. Like, they cost so much gold. Why would I want him to die for a speed vial? Or him for a coin, when he cost me like five coins? That's why I don't, under I don't understand, but whatever. This demo is all about figuring out the game. Right, uh, so this is floor 10. And there's not a lot of things here. Get this key, I guess. Alright, let's do this. I suppose what you want is to time them so that they don't go in a different interval. So like these guys have three delay, this guy has four, and this guy has three. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what a strategy for this game might look like. And it's very difficult. Let's do something like this. Put the time on. This guy is definitely gonna die. Why did you not take the shit? What are you doing? Alright, so we lost our Tim guy. 
they'll be returned to life. Oh, wait. So they return, obviously. Oh my goodness. So I don't want them to die. Obviously. Now. All right, I didn't think about this for some reason. I mean, it's obvious now, yeah, but... All right, so we don't actually want to give them a whole bunch of health because we want them to die sometimes. Because they provide, like, bonuses. This guy spawns an imp on that. Which is good, but we don't have money for him to buy another imp. But why would I? All right, let's not spend any money here. Holy shit. All right, let's think about this. So they have a delay. And yes, we could have Tim die, but then he won't be able to carry anything. So maybe I do want another imp. Let's buy him. All right, so we got four now. Um, like we want the fast guys in the back because they're gonna catch up. Anyway, so we want probably Scott to be in front. Of them because Scott is slower and this guy will be able to catch up and this guy is like really fast so he'll be able to catch up for sure maybe we will put him in the fourth position uh, what we want is for them to be grouped up as much as possible that way uh, they will all go through the same window shooting of one enemy <sighs> but it's kind of difficult to calculate when they will be grouped up and when the speeds will change it. It's kind of a difficult game, if I'm being completely honest. I want that treasure chest. That's like 100% clear. We can get it without any hassle once we go past these guys. Uh, we also want the keys. But I could get the keys on another run, actually. Because we have four guys, so one is gonna pick up a coin, one is gonna pick up a treasure chest, and the other a coin, and then we got this. So ideally, we would get these things. So let's see if it will actually work out the way I hope. There's also like a speed vial here. Oh, we can also choose this is spells or this is undead. I suppose I want spells. Something like this. Fuck it, let's try. Alright, he made it out with the big shield. We got a shit ton of treasure. So that was actually a good run. And we got some stuff here. Onyx chip, speed, great minion. Um, I suppose I want an onyx chip on the other imp as well. For a sapphire chip. Like, I didn't pay attention where they grouped up or what happened. Alright, I'll get the onyx chip. Fuck it. We'll put it in the imp. Here you go, buddy. Because he's the only one that gives no benefit when he dies. Alright, what's next? Uh, what can we buy? We can buy a ruby chip, which why would we? We could buy a chomp. 
um, but we don't have the money for it. So I think we're not gonna buy anything. And we want to go for the keys only. So this time there is more minions, which is not ideal. But we want something like this. Doesn't matter how we get these because there's no enemies here. Suppose I don't want this coin as well, but uh, it's gonna cost us a lot to get in there. But let's just get it. I don't think I'll be able to get out with it. But let's test this out. And we wanna be a out the range of this guy, we can be out the range of this guy, so... Mm. Let's try this. Alright, so that works nice. They're all bunched up here. And the guy with the shield is tanking, which is ideal. And now we got another guy with a shield. He's tagging more. Alright, that actually worked pretty well. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, he made it. No. Alright. Uh, so we need one more key. We got another perfect survival. Oh, you don't get a perfect survival when these guys die. So that is one reason I want to keep them alive, I guess. Still can't buy a chump, unfortunately. But let's do another run. So this time we don't need to go all the way up there, which wasn't really a problem because it didn't really cost anything. So that's like I'm trying to avoid doing unnecessary maneuvers in these rectangles. So if I go like this, then I'm doing the one block up inside inside this rectangle and even inside this rectangle so that's like one extra second if you will of when they're shooting at me so if i do it right here i'm safe i can make as many maneuvers as i want here but i want to get up as quickly as possible out of these rectangles and here i'm safe again i can do whatever i want and i'm gonna try and get up here like that's probably the shortest route right something like this then we go by the same route and then we have to go through this wizard dude We want to go on this path if possible, because that will avoid these rangers, this ranger's fire at least. And do something like this. Let's try it. Oh no, he's a goner. Oh no, he's gonna drop the key. That is not good. Alright, he made it. He made it, everyone. And we got our sixth coin. We get to descend, and we can't buy the guy anymore. That sucks. So we can buy this healing spell, though. Or this haste spell. I think I would rather have the haste spell. But, yeah. I think this is where I'm gonna leave the episode off. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I really like this game. And I'm definitely gonna buy it once it comes out. I don't know if it's out already. Let's check it out. Uh, right, reload. Yep, it is out. It is now seven euros where I am. I hope it's the same there where you are or cheaper <laughs> so you can get this game. Uh, I can definitely recommend it from what I've seen in the demo. Like, we haven't died once, but I assume that dying is going to be a big part of this. But 
it is still a really fun game, I imagine. We have to play more to see, but we'll do it together. Until next time.